Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Leaks 3 video. And in the last video, we finally managed to unlock every single fragment in the game. So in this video, the plan is going to be absolutely simple. We're just gonna have so much fun PVMing and obviously still grinding up the points to increase our ranks. We ended up our last video on rank number 60. And right now I'm just preparing myself a lot of food because we're gonna be using a specific strategy to be able to kill a ton of bosses very, very easily. So that being being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy today's episode. If you missed any of the previous ones, the playlist will be in the description and let's get right into it, I guess. Today's gonna be an exciting day because yesterday and today combined, I just fished a ton of fish, obviously with the auto cooker, a lot of them is going to be cooked as well. We're about to reach the 99 and from here, it's all about the nice balance between skilling and bossing since I obviously will max this account and at the same time, I also want to get most of the drops from all the bosses. So super excited for that as soon as this hits to 99 we're gonna move on and do our first real boss and there it is another 99 on the account i'll obviously be finishing fishing later on so let's take a quick look at how many fish we just got ourselves and looking at this we got ourselves almost 4,000 cooked cooked ones straight away so that is going to be very very helpful oh and uh i didn't even notice this one's 3.7k uncooked one so this should last us for a while at this point everybody knows what i want to do and those are three god wars bosses we're talking bandos arma and the zilly i have enough points to unlock two of them i think i want to start off with bandos just see how it feels, you know, so let's go ahead and unlock it for 75 and there it is That's a new boss unlocked. Let's get at it. That's the best relic options I have right now We have absolute unit on the weaker one So just with two fragments for 50% damage reflection We also have the last recall So we're gonna be able to get right back in there and then we also have twin strikes for 30% chance for extra attack All right, the moment of truth is this actually going to work or am I gonna struggle? Well, it definitely works and we got snapdragon seed for our very first skill and obviously a task completion for the way back you just teleport to this, run all the way back, grab full inventory of Karambuans, which we have infinite supply of, and just go back. So one inventory of Karambuans equals one kill. And obviously, if I had an absolute unit maxed out, if I had a little bit of a better option with my relics, this would be twice as fast. Actually, I think I could improve this setup by a lot. I'm gonna try it out. So if you're wondering why I can't have the maxed out absolute unit, it's because I'm missing superior tracking. So we're gonna have to figure out uh, how to get this one, then I'll be able to do this way better. So it appears that I will need that relic in order to do this consistently so i'm thinking i go back to dk's instead and hope i land on that combat relic and even if i don't i will still be working towards completing all the jobs that dk's have to offer before we go we're gonna take our task of dagonov so we're also gonna be working on slayer xp and i know for a fact i don't need last recall for this one simply because i'll just run there and do it all in one go and this time i'm just gonna go ahead and use bomb bolts with dorgish and crossbow because i cba spending money on runeros honestly all right back at the trusted dk's let's see if we can get lucky so far we have b-ring but most importantly we want to get the relic that gives us both absolute unit and the last recall because that will help us tremendously this could be huge we got one come on slay all day i don't know what it does oh runite limbs oh i forgot about that i needed that actually because i can now make a crossbow very easily and that's another task beautiful nice drop would you look at that we got ourselves the very first drop dragon x so if i wear it and i spec attack with it that is a task completed you are kidding i just wasted all my runes i I literally just wasted all my runes. I didn't have the right relic equipped. Oh my god, I'm so sad right now. What the fuck? Throughout the process, I also learned that Dagonovs do not drop a tier 3 relic. They only drop a tier 2 relic. So, we're gonna go back into the Corrupted Gauntlet right after I make this crossbow because it's a task. And our goal is going to be to get that tier 3 combat relic that we are missing. So, combine this, this. The rune crossbow, thank you. Alright, let's try to get that damn relic as fast as possible here. I don't know if you get it here or right as you leave. Oh, there we go. Well, that's the answer straight away if this is the right relic we can go bandos come on living on a prayer what does it give i don't think it's the right one but it gives me both knife's edge and twin strikes okay so not the bad one not the one we needed though wait 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 i actually needed that i'm such a troll i actually needed that if i substitute that with this one i think with bottom I don't know. I, I'll have to figure it out. Let me go to the bag. So basically, I go from two twin strikes to three twin strikes, but I don't really use that much melee in Corrupted anyways. But it'll do. It's a small improvement. We'll take it. Okay, come on. Fragment. Okay, not ideal. We'll take it though. Come on. All we want for Christmas is a fragment. No fragment. Damn it. Let's go. Come on. 
Fragment, 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 please. Ooh, crystal armor, Sid. Number two, we'll take it. Come on, nothing in this one. Blood runes, I guess that's fine. Okay, so here is the idea. Corrupted Gauntlet is fairly slow to kill, and since I'm only going for a fragment, I'm looking for the tier three bosses that could give me that fragment faster. And the first thing that comes to mind is Zolra. So we're gonna move away from here, obviously loot it, hope for a fragment, didn't get it. We're gonna unlock Zolra, find out the combination that we wanna use, and we're just gonna send it. But anyways, let's take a look at the unlocks right now bosses we have we have points we're good with points so let's just go ahead and unlock where's the zolra at 50 okay that's that's pretty cheap let's unlock it and we're gonna farm it until we get the fragment that we need pretty slow kills but that's the first zolra killed for manta rays and snakeskin nice actually manta rays solid food source how long did that kill take four minutes oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> all right luckily i can do multiple kills a trip Runors, Scales, Essence. Ooh, Essence is not bad, you know, because I can go for 99 rune crafting super fast with Last Recall Relic. So this is gonna be actually a solid drop. New Personal Best, 235, nice. Well, we get Dragon Bones, I guess. We might be able to train some prayer XP with that. Magic Seed, which I believe is a task, so nice. And alongside that, a thousand flags. Oh, finally, we got Teleports. That's gonna help us get here. Dragon Halberd, that's solid. And the new PB. I got a D-Mad, bro. Can I wear this? Is that a task? It's not even a task. It's an absolute disaster. I haven't gotten a single fragment in 20 kills So I'm a little bit afraid if they even exist here because you never know like with Jagex fragments could legit just not exist <laughs> So yeah, we'll just hope that it exists. Palm tree seeds. I think that's a task We'll worry about farming in a little bit, but I would really like a drop though. Oh another dragon halberd change of plan We're completely ditching range and we're going with chain magic absolute unit and zero prayer We'll see how this goes. The reason why this feels okay is because of the reflect damage and whatnot. Yeah, new personal best straight away and it was a bad rotation as well. 143, new PB. Nice. Yeah, this is a really enjoyable setup. So just magic, blood barrage and lay back and relax. No much effort whatsoever. No food, but I have a dream. Okay, nice. What can I say? Perfect calculations. 30 KC already. Oh, kurva. Oh, easy. Man, imagine I got it there, bro. That would be hilarious. We got an elite clue scroll, I guess. Bro, I'm 40 KC. I should be seeing uh, some drops here. This kill is quite fast if it hit me then. New PB, 132. Nice. All right, I'm gonna be ending my Zolra grind here, no matter what we get, for a little bit, because I've been at it for basically an entire morning, so to say. Uh, but these are the loot from the first 50. Obviously, no drop yet, which is a bit unlucky. I think this should be a task, though. Thank you. A hey, 113k experience. Thank you very much. I'm in in the mood to test some mining so obviously now that we have 16x xp rate we can basically smelt and mine ores at the same time we're starting on 80 mining 73 smithing and this should be a lot of fun so nothing goes in my inventory everything goes directly to the bank whether it is ore whether it is bar it should be some really fast experience all right done with mining got a couple of geodes Right, let's see. Come on, fragment. All I want is fragment. Blue scroll and a bunch of okay. Rune arrows are good though. I'll take that. Fragment? Weapon seed! Wait! This is huge! This is huge! Holy shit! I had to like triple check that this is what I actually needed, by the way. Yo, this is insane, man. We'll take it. Ooh, we actually got it. Bofa, ladies and gentlemen. Bofa. Wow, that caught me by surprise because this is so good. Look, I can make the Blade of Seldor or the Bow of Fardent Hind, whatever. Bofa, on short, let's make it. Ooh, look at it. It is absolutely marvelous. I want to try this on Bandos just straight away, even if I don't have the best possible, like, gear for it. But bro, that looks sick, man. I'm excited. Let's go. I think I'll just do that until I get the fragment. Not bad, honestly. I'll just be using some food. Elite with coins. Nice. I just got a rune sword. It is an absolute disaster. It is an absolute disaster. Eating pizza, but I got a god sword shard. We'll take it. Nice, first drop. Wait, I'm about to get 99 range, actually. Mid kill. There it is. 99 range while I'm bowfying these bandos. Well, I'll take it, though. We, we are dry on the boot department. So, look, we're gonna wear those. Boom. Bandos boots. It's an elite task, you know? <gasps> back to back. Bandos tassies. It's huge. It's purple. Okay. 
Back to back. Wow, 50 kill count. Insane. No way. Do I get banned though? That's the question. Oh, no. Nah, it shines so beautifully. Look at the purple beam. It's my second one. It looks so good though. I will take it. Free money for the bank, I guess. 76 is the kill count. I'm gonna end it for now. And I'm just gonna go work on some upgrade. And that's first going to be Barrow's Gloves. But this is the loot we got from 76 Bandos bosses. All right, that's Demon Slayer done. Uh, that'll be the goal. Golem done. Very cool. Ah, here we go. Attack XP. Two levels. Huge. Okay. Shadow of the Storm completed. There it is. 112k cooking XP. All right, then. Not bad at all. Unfortunately, I'm already 99. Okay, one more quest to go. Use this, use that. Okay, and now if I just kill the bosses, uh, I have Barrow's Gloves. Melee KO. Bomb. Nice. GG, bro. Recipe for disaster completed. We now get to put this on Herblor. Give me nice XP. 320,000. Oh! <laughs> We take those, god damn, all right. Barrow's gloves obtained, wear those. It's not even a task. <laughs> Never mind then, I guess it's it's fine, honestly. I didn't want the task anyways for that. We are now 99 fishing and almost 25 million cooking XP with uh, 16,000 points. So pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna honestly finish the 25 cooking XP because it's really fast. And after that, we're gonna move on to wood cutting and obviously fire making. And we're gonna start working on mahogany logs so I can use those for 99 construct. All right, so I've been AFKing here for about an hour. Ended up getting to almost 25 mil cooking XP. I'll finish that at some time in the future. I'm not really sure when. Um, fishing is 99. Uh, Woodcutting is almost 99. I intentionally left it a little bit earlier. And obviously, the fire making was all done passively while I was chopping trees. But right now, I'm just quickly AFKing on the sand crabs, getting my strength level up. But I'm actually taking it a bit more chill, a bit more relaxed. And the simple reason for it is in about three to four hours from now, they're doing some big changes to fragments. So it's going to be... A lot easier to get certain set effects so I'm just holding off from the PVMing until the update hits and then we're gonna go right back and do more bandos more PVMing more stuff like that okay so there is a system update in 18 minutes and I just finished AFKing on the crabs got 97 strength and uh, whatnot I planned on doing some slayer however the update is already happening and I'm just gonna do a quick farm run and one of the tasks is to check a grown magic tree that's a big XP drop and a lot of uh, points and on top of that I gotta chop it down and then dig up the roots so that's gonna be another task but already 77 farming pretty damn solid there we go we are digging up the roots I hope this will work and oh they went straight to my bank bro I got jump scared there straight up uh, nice another task completed beautiful I got a medium clue as well Nice. Just running around the game, collecting all the possible XP and not actually replanting, which is kind of weird, but at 78 with another task, and that is to check a grown fruit tree, but also check a palm tree. So a bunch of tasks in farming I didn't even know were a thing. Pretty good. I believe that's another one with another level, 79. And if I pick this up, well, that's a grown papaya, and I checked it in the Three Gnome Stronghold. Oh no, this is Three Gnome Village. Three Gnome Stronghold is... Man, I got scammed! Unlucky. Here is the number of Sages Renown we have before the update, 134. And after the update, we have 134 Sages Renown. So, uh, what? Maybe if I open stuff? Oi! <laughs> we have 400. But, but why? Now I can just unlock everything in the game. It ruins the fun, for me at least. I guess do I just start unlock? Yeah, that's... Pr I... Look how cheap this is. This used to be like a hundred each. Work F30. Unlock. Oh man, I'm gonna be spending my time unlocking everything. Man, there's been a lot of like conversation whether or not this is like a good decision. I... My personal stance on it is... I don't think it's a good decision because what was fun and unique about this league was that you need to plan your progress around what you're going to unlock. And that was to me personally, like the most fun about this league. And now they just give you everything. And I don't like that necessarily. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like I am not a fan of this, but I understand that for maybe someone that plays this a little bit more casually. Quick little crystal impling. And actually since the update just hit, there might be an angle where there's a lot of crystal implings out and about right now. Let's see what do we get from the first one? <gasps> yes! Elven Signet. That's a task. An elite one at that. Nice. I, what does this do even? I don't even know. Slowly but surely unlocking everything that I could and I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm a little disappointed at the moment. So after the update, I'm able to hit the absolute unit with three fragments instead of four. I also have double tap for extra range attack, dragon's touch for extra healing, and last recall obviously four fragments instead of five. So I can have a lot more bonuses than I used to have beforehand and we're gonna put it to the test. The first thing I want to see is, am I able 
able to just do nothing and just AFK Bandos. Let's see. Because I should have a little bit of healing. He takes full damage back when he hits me. Obviously, I'm still damaging him. And I can just heal here and there. This is this is going to make Bandos one of the easiest bosses in the game. Because obviously, my accuracy increases, right? With zero prayer, he takes full damage. I can just eat only Karambuans here and there. I get so many Karambuans, so they're literally free. Then we get a drop. Super restores. Wonderful drop, right? And then Versi Hanaza. We go right there. And we bank and we repeat. And that's going to be us doing Bandos for the foreseeable future. Oh, there we go. Defeat 100 of any God Wars dungeon bosses. We'll take it. We have been waiting for this moment for so long. So let's take a look what we get. Armadillion Decree. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this one is also a banger. Oh, the bolts just go up. That's crazy. You get double tap and absolute unit with it. So I can wear that instead of one of the other ones. And I'm also gonna have a triple double tap right now. So let's take a look. So for example, let's say I get rid of this one, which is just absolute unit with nothing, right? I can put Armadillion Decree on it and just it's just gonna help us as we're doing Bandos as we're later on doing Armadil as well. So that is an amazing fragment. We check this one away and we equip... Armadillion Decree. Oh, this is beautiful. Activate three set effects, absolute unit, double tap maxed out, Dracan's touch even, and last trick all on top of that. So this is gonna be so easy now. Oh, God Sword Shard. Don't tell me this is the one I uh, this is the one I already have. It is an absolute disaster. No, I already have this. This could be absolutely insane. We got another combat fragment. Okay, okay, okay. We waited 156 kills. That's the second one in 156 KC. Come on. Give me the one that we needed earlier. Bandosian Might. Wait, this is also insane. Hold up. This one is crazy good, I swear. Bandosian Might. When wearing a full Bandos items, your max mil hit is increased relative to your attack speed. One damage per attack speed. Bro, we can hit some numbers. God Sword Shard 3. Nice. That's a new one. We actually needed that. Beautiful stuff. Okay, two. We're missing God Sword Shard 2. Oi! Bandos Hilt. Let's go. Dude, this is sick. This is the rarest thing I can get. <gasps> nice. Another fragment. Okay, okay, okay. So. What could this one be? That's the third one we've gotten in 183. Let's just see what we got. Dude, I'm getting all of these ones. Sarah Dominist defense as well. Let's take a look what this one does. It sounds insane. So when wearing full Sarah items, if you've taken damage from an NPC or a player in the last 3.6 seconds, your max hit is increased. Okay, and it gives you absolute unit and knife's edge. Bro, those are all so insane. I can't wait to test out like the different combos and stuff. <gasps> That's the one! I think. Let's go! Wait, I can make it! Yes, it is the one. I can make a BGS right now. And all the other God Swords in the future. I did not expect to get that done. However, because I'm not fully done yet, I'm not gonna go make this now. Because I don't wanna ruin my my crystal of memories. <gasps> Let's go! We're done! Let's go! Okay, not bad! Not bad at all! Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone and done it. We have gone and done it. 234, what a beautiful number, 2, 3, 4, and we have absolutely completed every possible drop at Bandos, look at this, boom, 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 where my task is at, boom, where my boots at, boom, holy moly, would you look at that, first of all, let's go ahead and equip full Bandos, that is a task, 250 by the way, like, that is crazy amount of points, um, and obviously now I need to go make myself a Bandos hilt, and then we're also gonna wear that. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Look, smithing double. Smithing at an anvil will have a 30% chance to give you double. Yup. Grab, give me that one. Good, 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 good. Let me just throw away what I don't need. Okay, so now, there is an angle where we get two full blades right now. Let's just use this on that. Come on, just do it. 30% chance. I mean, it's a high percent chance. And this on... What, did I just do it like that? Come on, give me two. Give me two. No! Okay, well, it's fine, it's fine. So, there it is. We got a blade, we got a hilt. Add this on that, and wield it. I don't have an attack! It is an absolute disaster! Let's get it quickly. I have to wield it for to end this video. It has to be done. There it is. Whenever in doubt, trust the said crab. And there it is. The God Sword is now equipped for another 125 points. That was such an amazing episode. I had a lot of fun recording it. So I guess if you made it this far into the video, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, consider checking the playlist in the description to watch from episode number one. So yeah, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one, and bye-bye.